every time I'm in the street, I hear yak, 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 yak. What is crack like in YouTube? This is your buddy Sean and today I'm going to give you a comprehensive tutorial on how to take a legitimate Xbox One controller and use it to play games on your PC. So before we get into this tutorial, I'm going to say that uh, the games that I have tested to work on this, you know, with this technique is Team Fortress 2 and uh, Call of Duty World at War, which is, you know, the zombie mode. So before we get into this tutorial, all you need is to download two things, the 2.1, which is the version of software that we are going to be using for the Xbox One uh, controller, and 1.0.1. We have to combine these two to get one big ass patch to make this thing work. So um, also what you're going to do is you're going to take the Xbox One, your actual Xbox One, unplug that motherfucker, and uh, take all the batteries out of your Xbox One controller. And also you want to take a micro USB, and um, any micro USB can, will do, uh, micro USB is any, you know, charger for any modern uh, cell phone, any Android cell phone, not iPhone, but, you know, Android cell phone. It'll be a really small little thing with a USB on the end, and um, you take any of those and you can find them anywhere. So the, what you want to do first before you do anything is open up start or open up the whatever that was the smart start menu and type in device manager you, or just device. You click on device and you find device manager and there should be nothing here. You want to take your micro USB, plug the USB in into your computer and take the little pin and plug it into the top of the Xbox One controller. And overwhelmingly the controller should do absolutely nothing. But your device manager should, manager should change. You will get a uh, other device little thing and it should you know be a yellow tab and nothing will happen. Or it will be a yellow tab somewhere. It will be a yellow thing and um, that will be completely normal. So once you've done that you want to close this go into the 2.1 folder and click on Xbox One gamepad and you want to click run and absolutely it'll seem like nothing will happen but if you go back to device manager you'll see that it will say lib USB whatever and then Xbox One gamepad so that is probably the easiest part of this tutorial and your controller still should not have lit up so uh, once you've done that maybe that will do something like that but once you've done that you also want to find what game you want to play or what game you want to use the controller with and find the root of that game where that game is installed for steam people uh, all you have to do is just go to your steam library go to click right click on the game go to properties local files browse local files and it should be right there it should have like the insignia uh, that it uses so once you've done that uh, minimize that and if you're not on steam uh, you can take your game uh, and right click that right click on it uh, open file location and it should be there um, and that's probably the easiest way I can take you to find those things but once you've done that you want to go back into your 2.1 folder go into the Zenput <laughs> X input take all of this highlight drag and drop copy and replace all of it I'm not gonna do it because I already did it but you want to do that and you also want to that is it never mind there's no also and once you've done that you want to minimize that go into the 1.0.1 folder and click on vjoy now vjoy is the software that actually tells which button does which on the controller of the xbox one so you want to click next uh uninstall demo vjoy feeder whatever that is uninstall that click next and then click install and it will take you know up to five minutes to install be patient it will happen uh, i'm going to exit this because i already did it once you've installed this you want to go over back to this little glow major and then click uh find configure vjoy now if it's not right here you obviously uh, want to just search config vjoy but i don't have to do that so if it's right here you click it once you open this this part is very important because this dictates what happens in the game as i said earlier what controller press or use what button does what on in the game so if you find that you have a button that's not working like you can't jump because you, the a button doesn't work or you can't look around it's because you did something wrong in this step and you want to go back and reconfigure this if you did something wrong so all you have to do is just click this pov hat switch to continuous put povs to one put this to um, 17 number of buttons and you also want to click this and this and that is all you have to do 
you click apply you should hear a little noise do doom do doom or something like that and then uh, once you click apply you want to click OK or you want it to freeze because that's always a good thing <laughs> but you want it to click OK and then that will close out when it is done now once, once you've done that you want to go into this X x360 ce go back to your root folder that you have your game installed um and you want to copy drag drop copy and replace i'm not going to do it because i didn't or I already did it so once you've done that you want to go back go to app come on app and then you want to see this xbox one driver app you want to click it and open it and you want to click run now at this point in time you're probably saying what the Oh my gosh, this is amazing because your controller should light up. If your controller did not light up, you did something wrong. Go to the beginning of this tutorial, restart. But this controller should light up. Um, and that should be pretty amazing to you guys. Um, but once it has lit up, you should be pretty much almost set. Um, you only have to do about a few more things. Now, for each individual game, there's a way to get the Xbox 360 controller to work on each individual game usually you have to put in like a command so i have the commands for uh, team fortress and call of duty world at war in the description uh you want to copy and paste that you want to copy and then just open up the game now if this didn't record uh no if this doesn't record i will go back and do it again but hopefully it records Okay, so now that we've gotten into our game, I actually loaded up my a mod called Family Guy, uh, which is one of my favorite mods uh, to date. So once you've loaded up your Call of Duty World at War, you want to go into Settings, go to Game Options, and go to Enable Console. Make sure that says Yes, and back it out. Now right below the Escape key uh, to the left of the 1 button and right above the Tab button, there will be a little squiggly line looks like toothpaste. It's called the, the tilde. You click that little the tilde and you will bring up what is called the console which is the, at the top of the screen. Uh, so you want to go into the description and look up or copy uh, what it says in the description. And for every game it's different. You can look this up for every game. So uh, they all have different rules. So I go into this and I just put that into you know in the description so you can use so you want to click control V and copy paste it which is the paste button or whatever or you could just type it in you can do whatever you want and um, press enter and then press the tilde again go back to options and you should see controls you should see that there's an A button B button so that's how you know it worked then you go into solo and uh yeah if you really want to see check out this map it's really cool i do have a gameplay of it on my channel uh you just look it up family guy gameplay and it'll be there but yeah and yeah this is the button or this is the xbox controller you hear it? yeah yeah it. that's it me pressing the a button i'm pressing it really fast one da, da. um the triggers work oh sorry and yeah that's about it i mean really nothing i can do about it so yeah um, this works and again if you have something that doesn't work like if you can't look around if you can't press the A button to jump or press anything else um, Then that was something wrong with the V joy part of this tutorial, which is the part where What is it what happens? Oh, yeah, where you configure, you know, what's what so at the V joy part where it says configure V joy You want to go back to that and redo it because that's what happens if you do this part or if you do that part wrong, you will not be able to do any of this. And I'm just going to show you how to do it in Team Fortress. So you want to copy and paste from the uh, description, or you really don't need to copy. But you have to open it from Steam. Uh, play game. Uh, because for some reason, I can't open it any other way. Okay, so now that we have this game loaded up, all you have to do is wait let me turn down the volume okay now all you have to do is just uh almost the same thing you go to options this is gonna glitch out for some reason uh you go to advance and enable developer console and that should be set up perfectly now you want to hit the same to tilde key which is across the board the tilde key is always how you bring up console for really most games uh pretty much all of them so once you brought that up you could either copy the command that I have in the description or you can just press EXEC 
space and it will be right here Xbox 360 controller you click submit boom that should happen and you should know it works if you go over to options and then you see a button you know stick to stick one uh, and X and all that crap so that should work and then I'm just gonna load up a quick training mode okay and now that we're here I'm just gonna press the a button on the uh, Xbox controller and again and now I can scroll over with the d-pad to actually if you can hear that and uh, I'm holding it oh, that doesn't really but yeah I can just do that and sure click a place I'm obviously gonna pick the scout because he's a mother trucking badass uh, and yeah uh, if you can hear that, uh, that's me putting the analog sticks, and I can't actually show you, you know, of me using it, because I my camera's out of commission, I actually lost my USB for my iPod, which is my only source of camera work, and I'm using my tablet for everything now, Ooh, and yeah, the Y button brings up that for some reason, uh, left bumper brings up this, so I'm not really proficient with the controller right now, I have to, if you want to customize it, you can go into settings, and I'll press the menu button on there, and you can use the D-pad, and you know set it up and stuff um, but that is this is basically uh, it if you have and any questions please leave them in the comment section below and also a side note if this part does not work I have to say this again because people will ignore me um, they if you did you don't have a button that works like if you can't look around or you can't press a button or you can't press the oh that's cool but if you can't um, you know do any buttons it's the part with the V-Joy that is what's happened to you. Uh, you obviously didn't set it up right, and you need to. Oh, I'm about to get booty jibble. Whoa, I'm about to get booty jibble. Oh, I'm taunting. I'm pressing X to taunt. Makes sense. But yeah, the VJoy part is the part uh, that dictates what that is. And you need to go back to that part of the video and redo it. Um, if your button didn't light up when you um, did the part where it's supposed to light up, it's probably because you didn't install the 2.1 part of the place which is like the very first step which is the easiest step uh, you didn't do that incorrectly and it should have changed in the device manager if it didn't change in the device manager you did something wrong can I get a medic please wait there we go I press the analog inside the analog stick to get medic but yeah that is another part it so yeah again comment 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 if you say some stupid shit I swear to god I'm slapping the taste out of your mouth um if you um enjoyed my videos don't be afraid to subscribe because I do like to post a lot of videos. Or not a lot of videos. I just post when I find it relevant. I usually don't post on Saturdays and Sundays. But sometimes on Sundays I do post tutorials. Um, if I find them cool enough to be posted. And uh, if you like the video, give it a like so other people can see this. Because this is a relatively new uh, thing. Come on, die. Please die. Please die. I'm going to smack the taste out of you. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. But yeah. <laughs> um, if you like this so like this video so more people can see it and uh, share it if you think it's cool um, I think it's cool and if there's any updates about this I will update you guys with another video on Sunday uh, it has to be a Sunday so yeah this is your boy Deshaun and I will see you guys later